Dear viewers, welcome to another video in the series of mini tab tutorials. In today's video, we will see how the stacking option of columns work in mini tab. So, here I have the carbon dioxide emission of three different generators in the commercial facility. Gen set A, how much carbon dioxide is getting emitted per carbon dioxide kilograms per gallon. Similarly, Gen set B, Gen set C. But if I want to do a Moots median test, which is a hypothesis testing. So stats, non-parametric test, and if I select Moots median, the data need to be entered as response parameter, that is carbon dioxide emission as one column, factor, name of the gen set in another column. I don't have an option to select three columns and do this hypothesis testing. So these three columns need to be stacked into one single column and one more column with the name of the gen set. So if I don't know how to do this, option in mini tab i have to copy this data to excel then put all of these response parameters in one column and in another column i need to get the factor names instead i can click on data and i can go for stack and here i can say stack columns so once i click on stack columns i get a small window like this in this window i can select the columns which need to be stacked together into a single column and then I can choose whether the output has to be in a new sheet or the output has to be in the same sheet. Here I want the output to be in the same sheet and in column C4 because C4 is my immediate next available column and I want to store the factor name. I want to store the factor name. Factor name is nothing but name of the gen set in column C5 and I want to use the column header as my factor differentiator. Column header as factor differentiator is nothing but in the column where I'm going to have the factor name, I will have gen set A, gen set B and gen set C because that is the column subscript here for C1, C2, C3. Now, if I click OK, I will be able to get the CO2 emission in column C4 and gen set name in column C5. And now I can click on stats. I can go to non-parametric test. I can go to Moots median test and in Moots median test, I will be able to select the response parameter as CO2 and factor as gen set and then perform my Moots median test. I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos on how to use Minitab for different Lean Six Sigma exercises and graphical representations. Thank you.